Hello guys and welcome to the final HRL race of uh, 2013. And the final HRL race of 2013 is going to be a Supercross race um, at one of the most famous tracks in the Supercross schedule now after its crazy race that it had in the regular season, Rellingtown Motocross. Um, this is part of the Pro Invitational National Series for Supercross. It's a set of four races, uh, basically do or die races, uh, to win that uh, National Series trophy. And right now we have seven racers here, but three of them uh, that are left are eligible for winning it. Here we have Gator, I believe that's Gator Killer. Uh, no, that's set there. Gator's over there. He's wearing orange colors now. Um, here we have Gator. He is one of the eligible eligible people. He's second in points, uh, so he can take it. And then I believe right there we have Armada, and he is third in points, but if he gets a win and Solange finishes pretty far back, uh, and Armada will also have to get some extra bonus points, like I'd say whole shot in most laps led. Uh, he can take it. It is possible that Armada can take it. Very unlikely, but it is possible. So Armada is still in it. And then over here we have Papa, who has the points lead, and he has the biggest advantage right now. Anyway, Sticky Dad is down. Uh, we have a ton of drivers competing, uh, NJD first race all season right here. <laughs> but yeah, we have a ton of drivers competing for their win. Final race of 2013, they really want to win and they're going to compete hard for it. 30 lap race, here we go, we're green. Very close off the whole shot. Luke takes the whole shot. That would, uh, actually have been, ooh, Gator goes down in the first corner, Sector goes down. That was actually the, uh, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. That was actually the third hole shot of the four races that Luke got this series. Ooh, Slaunch almost goes down. NJD almost goes down in the back section. Uh, one of the most common track sections to wreck on the track. Aimbot goes down, or uh, Armada. Luke's off to a huge early lead, leads lap one. Ooh, Sector gets a little too close to NJD. Oh, he saves it! Wow, that was crazy. NJD goes down. Gator goes into the wall, Setter pushes around NJD, <laughs> he pushes NJD over the rut. Oh man, Setter's fighting to get into fourth. Uh, it's 250 champion right here. Let's move up towards the front of the pack. Coming up to lap two, Turkey and Slouch are gaining quickly on Luke. It's a rock star, teammates, one, two, three. This is exactly what they want right now. But if you've seen that Rellingtown race from the regular season, you know that anything can happen here, lap two. 28 laps to go. This is a big race here. Slaunch makes a big move on Luke. They battle down the rut. Luke holds the inside. Goes for a little bit of block past the lassage. Tries to go for a crossover on Slaunch, but Slaunch stops up the inside. Luke goes to the inside of Slaunch. Pushes him up a little bit. They decide to go side by side around the berm. Turkey's lurking in third. Lap three. Oh, Turkey gets a case. Sanch and Luke still duking it out very hard for that lead. Sanch has a little advantage over Luke. This is exactly what Sanch wants right now. He wants that win to lock it in. Back section right there is very dangerous. Sanch is able to make his way through it. Luke's trying to make a move. Sanch goes to the inside there. Luke runs the burmage. It's different for everybody. Some people would prefer the berms momentum. Some people would rather just take the inside there, but you case a little bit. Oh, Slaunch goes down. Luke grinds the railing. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. We need to replay that. Um, so, <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, Slaunch is in the lead. This jump right here is kind of treacherous. Slaunch ends up going down in it, and Luke grinds this railing to go around him. Here they come. <laughs> That's one of the funniest passes for the lead I've ever seen. Turkey barely gets around Papa right there. That's actually kind of close. Everybody, oh, everybody else except for Armada gets gets through that jump clean. Armada didn't do that bad of a job, though. He covered quickly. A little bit of a slide job, a lot of it there from Turkey, but then Papa goes for the crossover, goes down on the back section. Something Papa does not learn at all in this race. Oh, almost ended up screwing over Armada is that you do not want to be in the left side of that back section. You do not want to be in the left side of it. Uh, the right side, it can still flip you, but it seems to be more consistent. If you go to the left, that, ooh, that seems to be uh, the most common place for people to flip is when they take the left side of that back section. Luke tries to make a move on Turkey. Boosh, two-wheeling. 
has to take the Burmage. Goes for an inside move on Turgi, not enough. Gonna run the berm here. Sector's actually in podium position right now. Pretty good race from Sector. Ooh, a little bit of two wheels. A little bit of two wheels. <laughs> Sector's coming up. He's running the inside right there. Sector's running a good race. He's got a fast line. I believe he's using a different controller. I think he said it worked better than his old one. Oh, Luke goes down in the jump. Sector actually gains a ton on Turkey there. NJD is also back in the fray. Sector's going to the inside. He wants to make a move for that lead on Turkey. Who knows if he can get it. All he knows is that he's going to try. Ooh, takes the worst side of the back section. New move from Sector right there, but he'll learn. Slaunch makes a little slide job of on Luke, but then Luke goes back to the inside. NJD is now in second. He was back in fifth for a while on the start, but now he's back in second. Oh, NJD goes down. I believe he ended up... Uh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a battle back here. We have a battle back here. Close, tight-knit racing here between Gator, set there, and NJ. Yeah, NJ, it looked like he uh, bogged going up the jump, and that's what messed him up. Ooh! Gator almost got him in the berm there. Luke and Papa go down. NJD goes down in the back section. Three people that lap go down in that back section. Let's go back and see what happened to Luke and Papa. Three people that lap go down in that back section. It's very treacherous. Watch Luke's just running it normally and boosh. Right in front of Papa. Papa has nowhere to go. And then he's going to end up having to roll the rollers. NJD ended up going down. Set their Gator are back in the fray. Papa's pushing around Gator, set the guy on the inside wall a little bit. But then he's going to make a hard move to the inside, 3-1. Oh, no, NJD. Oh, that takes out, uh, no, Gator saved it. Ends up taking out Armada more, though. NJD had wrecked over a different side of the track. Luke goes for a move on set there right there. NJD had wrecked on a different side of the track to go out in front of that amazing 3-wide. And it ended up breaking up Gator. That kind of sucks. That was a nice 3-wide. Luke and Sector, the Rockstar teammates. Oh, Sector gets in the inside wall, riding side by side. Luke runs the Burmage. Oh, oh. See what happens right there. Ah, Luke was going to cut down on the berm, but then did not see Gator, and Gator went up a little bit, and Luke ended up pushing Papa off with him. But Luke, at this point, so far off the track, he just waited to rejoin. Papa went around. You see Aimba Armada, he, he is one of the fastest people here. NJD as well, they are fast people and proved to that in the Rellingtown race in the regular season, but they're here, they're back here. Last two positions, Slaunch goes down. Armada's going to make a slick pass on him. But yeah, they're, they're back here in the back of the pack and way out of the fray. Don't know if they can come back. Uh, we haven't even hit the half point of the race yet, but I don't know if they can come back. But if they do, it's going to take a drastic move. I wouldn't be surprised if they do, though, because they are very competent racers, this backpack. NJD is floating over everything. Gotta love lag. The yeah, Armada's gonna charge. He's gonna go for it. Does not have a win this championship series yet. You top, uh, Sector's back in second. Oh, nice save. Wow, that was close. Sector's back in second. Uh, your top three would be Turkey, Sector, and then Gator. And then Luke's in, um, third, fourth. <laughs> See set there though. He is. Uh, he's. This isn't. This is a good track for him. But I think the main thing here. Oh, Gator ends up getting to the wall. Uh, I think the main thing here is that he's using that different controller and it doesn't lock up like his other one does. Well, his other controller doesn't lock up. It's just the analog sticks are messed up, which some people like to call BS on. But I've personally used a controller where the analog sticks were messed up. It really does make a difference. It's seriously. I could not race road courses for a long time. Gator makes a slick move on Setter. Setter goes high. Good crossovers between the two. But yeah, it makes a huge difference. I seriously could not race road courses for a long time until I got a new controller. I needed a new controller to win on a road course. It's just, oh, nice move to the inside for Sector. Luke goes down on the jump. Let's see if we can get a replay of that. Get a, get the move and the flip in the same clip. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Sector makes a slick move on Gator. He's going to end up taking over that second place position again. Sector really desperately wants to lead a lap. Be awesome if he could. I think... I don't think he's led a lap in SX yet. I do not think he has. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was a good recovery right there. 
Yeah, I do not think he's led a lap yet, so he's going to go for it. He's going to try. See, him and Gator are having a very clean race right here. I mean, Gator is going for that championship, so he is acting a little urgent with his moves, but they're still trying to keep it clean. Gator goes down, Setter gets a huge run on him. And Setter's just going to ride off and go after his teammate, Turkey. Let's get an update on the back of the pack. Uh, NJD is now the leader of this back of the pack. Armada fell behind him, and Slaunch is in last. Oh, what happened to Sector? How the frick did he go down? Sector, in my opinion, running his best race all season. And he turned, yep, he turned inside, he turned inside just a little bit early. Luke goes around the outside of him, yeah, set their miss, yeah. Oh, and then he gets stuck up trying to, uh, get over the jump, so that sucks for set there. He's having a very good race, but now he's out of podium position, it's alright though. Trust me, there's still way more, a lot more of this race left. I believe we just hit the halfway point, 15 to go. And we are going a little bit of single wide itch right here, but trust me, this race does heat up. In my opinion, this is on par with the Rellingtown regular season race, so you know some crap's going to happen. NJD and Armada are charging. They are going hard, trying to catch up with the, the big pack. Trying to get by Sector almost. Looks like that's our closest battle on track. Armada's trying to make a move on NJD. Both go different sides of that jump. That's our finish line, finish line jump right there. And Armada ends up completing a nice pass on NJD, but NJD's being aggressive to the inside. Ends up pushing Armada off the end of the berm. Looks like we have a little bit of lag, but uh, yeah, Setter's slowing down a little bit. Armada and NJD are charging after them, after him. Luke, Gator, Turkey are still that top three, I believe. To oh, we might have a uh, might have a switch up. Turkey still holds the lead. The way the names were, I thought this would have been a closer battle. But anyways, NJD and Armada still trying to work their way by Sector. NJD did work his way back by Armada. He's got a good gap now. Papa is still way in last. It's going to take a drastic turn of events for Papa to get up. Excuse me, get up here with the pack. But, slowly but surely, the pack is closing in. With only a couple laps to go, I'd say about 12. Slowly but surely, the pack is closing. You can definitely see this little mid-race pack right here is closing up. Gator and Luke still going hard at it. Oh, might have a move. Might have a move. Yep, Luke's making a move on Gator for second. Goes around the outside. Gator decides to go for the inside. Goes side by side. Gator loses a little bit of momentum. Luke had that outside momentum. Gator ends up forcing the rut. Turkey's losing a bunch of time. Luke goes hard for the inside. Decides to back off. Crossover. You Looks like he went for it. Gator goes down on the rollers. Aggressive move to the inside. Pushes him out of the rut. And Luke takes over second. Both of them are gaining on Gator. I mean, cool. Uh, both of them are gaining on Turkey. Side by side under the finish line. Oh! Gator was a little bit wild. Luke ended up going off the berm. Scrappy racing between these two, and Turkey still continues to lose time. NJD and Armada and Sector, this pack is closing in, I'm telling you. Armada goes for a move to the inside, similar to the one NJD made on Armada. They both go side by side into the berm. NJD's just going to take that spot. Both hit the inside rut. A little bit of a crossover to the inside rut. That was kind of nice. Scepter's trying his best. Oh, Scepter goes down on that uh, inside corner right there again, but recovered a lot quicker. I mean, of course, there was lag, so that might not have been exactly what happened, but you could tell he definitely hit the wall. Scepter goes down, saves it, but in all, Scepter goes down side-by-side -side racing between NJD and Armada. Armada not going to be able to go for a crossover. I wish we could see this battle better. The freaking lag is messing it up. But yeah, you can tell the pack is closing, and we only have so many laps to go. By so many, I mean 10 or so. Everybody back here is just sort of staying in line. They don't want to battle too much. What they want to do is they want to focus on getting up there 
with the leaders and having a chance at leading a lap. All these back of the pack. The, oh, Sector goes down. That sucks for Sector. He's going to end up getting passed by Slaunch. Oh, and then Slaunch goes down. Uh, Sector rejoins the track. But yeah, uh, none of these back, none of these back people except for Papa has led, and we have a major turn of events in the lead. Gator has not led yet, but Turkey Shot. I gotta go back to see this. I believe this is where it happens. Yes, Turkey Shot. He's in the lead right here. Here he goes into the finish line jump. Boggs goes down. Has to gets dismount. Has to get back on his goose. There goes Gator around him. Here comes Luke. Not able to make a move. But now the top three is switched up. Gator is now your leader. Turkey's in second. And he really wants the most laps led. Even though I believe he pretty much has it locked in. He's going to gun hard to try to get it back. You can see NJD and Armada. They have been gaining this whole time. And you can tell the gap has definitely closed. Papa and Sector. there. I don't really know if they can close in. I think they're going to have their own little battle. But uh, Armada and NJD, I think they can definitely get in this battle with only a couple laps to go. Luke made a nice move to the inside of Turkey. Gator goes down. Gator goes down. Luke bogs. Turkey does not. Oh, and then Turkey gets a little nose wheelie. Luke takes the lead back. That's big for Gator. Now he's in the pack with NJD and Armada. This is crazy. The, the NJD and Armada pack has finally caught up now that they are with Gator. All they need... Oh, Turkey goes down! I was just about to say, all they need is Turkey and Luke to screw up. Turkey goes down. Whoa, 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 what happened? Well, if the replay could work, maybe I could show you. There we go. Turkey and Luke are going side by side on the rollers. You can see Turkey's loose the whole way through and just gets a crazy crash on the inside rut. And NJD and Armada. NJD's now podium position. Gators back to fifth. Armada's fourth. Sector and Papa are way back in sixth and seventh. I still think Sector and Papa are out of it. But this top five pack, they have a shot. I think everybody has a shot now. Oh, Turkey hits the inside wall. NJD makes a move around the outside. Luke had to run the berm for some reason. NJD makes a power move to the inside. Oh, two wheels. Oh, my. He saves it. Armada goes off. But then Armada rejoins the track to battle with Gator. I still cannot believe NJD saved that. That is one of the craziest Supercross saves all season. Let's take another look at that. That might have to go down for the best save all season award. That was good right there. Luke made that move similar to the one with him and Gator early in the race. <coughs> where he went on the berm and cut down. So he goes on the berm, he cuts down, and NJD was making that move for the inside, but he, he made that, Luke made that cut down move intentionally to prevent that. It pops NJD a two wheel, he goes back to two wheel, back to two wheel, and then ends up getting it down, only losing one position to Turkey. But now Armada and Gator are having a side by side battle. And Armada is not gonna let this slip away from him. He knows that he came really close to that win back in the regular season race. He's going to be gunning hard. Luke has the win. Luke, Luke has the win. Luke has the lead still. Turkey's in second. NJD's in third. Luke goes wide. Turkey goes for the lead. NJD is also moving in. We have three people on the inside. Right here comes Gator as well. Four wide battle. To the inside. NJD makes a huge crossover. Will NJD go for another? Yes, he does. Huge crossover on Gator. Luke maintains second place. Oh, NJD goes down. Where is Armada? Turkey's going for the lead. Luke goes for the lead. No! He goes down. Luke went for the lead on his teammate. And it, Turkey did not know that. And Luke ended up going down because of it. Turkey did not know that Luke was coming to his inside. Now here comes Gator. This is big. Gator could have. In fact, he does have the championship lead right now. Oh, what was that? Gator with a little bit of a break check right here on Turkey. That's going to take Turkey down. Turkey is not happy with that at all. And that's going to get NJD right back in the battle. Luke is going to be right back in the battle. And Armada still has a chance of getting up here. He is charging. Slaunch goes down. Sector goes down. Like I said, I don't think they have a chance still. Oh, NJD is racing rough with Turkey. Pushing him all the way up the berm. Here comes Turkey. I told you guys, just wait for the end of the race. <laughs> that was all build up. Oh, Luke goes down in the back section. Turkey almost does. He saves it. Here comes Armada. Oh! We need to get another view of that. We need to get another view of that. Here comes Armada. Luke goes down in the section. Armada sees it, but he knows he needs that inside rut speed. He takes it. Still, he goes right over Luke. Armada knew he need that speed. If he wants to have a chance at winning this race, we only have a couple laps to go. I believe the race ends around the 21-minute mark, so only a couple to go. Oh, my God. I think 
Nope, Gator still has it. Gator is getting really loose, though. He still has the lead, but he is getting supremely loose, having to run all the berms to save his momentum. NJD is charging. This is his first start. At first start i'm wrong actually this is his second start second start but second but first full race of the supercross season he showed up for longshore but wasn't able to complete it but here he is he is here now he is able to complete this race and he really wants a win the only thing that's going to come into play here is penalties ngd is going to have to get a big lead since he has a three second penalty not going to say why yet because it actually hasn't happened and gator actually has a four second uh three seconds for rough driving on several occasions of wrecking you may have seen a couple in the video um and then NJ, and then uh, one for brake checking, which is that thing on Turkey. Normally, you wouldn't call a brake checking on that, but the fact that Gator did not brake that jump the whole race, and Turkey and him have a kind of a rivalry, and the fact that he tries to brake when Turkey's behind him, that seemed a little intentional to me. Penalties are playing a big factor in it, though. The only thing is, NJD and, a, and Gator have a huge lead on the pack. If they can hold... NJD goes for the lead! Oh, he takes it on the inside rut. That, that reminded me of Luke's pass in Armada in the regular season race. That was exactly like it. NJD takes the lead. He's in the lead for the first time all race. Armada has battled, is battling his way all the way up to podium. Goes for a crossover on Turkey. Luke is back in fifth. He really wants to podium every single race. He got, he got f several fourth place finishes at the end of the season to end his podium streak. I think his lowest finish all season was fourth. Finished fourth three times. That's where he lost his podium streak. Turk Sector and Papa are still out of it. NJD has a good lead. Right now, NJD's lead is holding out the penalties. Even with the penalties, NJD will win if he can maintain that gap. Turkey and Armada, Luke, all these guys don't have penalties, so they're kind of gaining, they're kind of getting an advantage off of that right now. Oh, Turkey goes down in the back section. Luke barely avoids it. Turkey's going to end up battling with that little backpack of Sector and Papa now. Luke and Armada still charging. Oh, NJD and Gator. Too wide for the lead. Gator got a run. He went for the inside. NJD is holding him off the best he can. He really wants this win. Oh, that's what NJD's was for right there. He actually admitted that to me. He actually wanted a penalty for that, for getting Gator in right there. But that's where NJD earned his penalty right there. So now NJD is going to have to hope he can get away from this pack clean and get a good gap lead, a good three-second gap on Armada if he wants to take this win. Oh! One of the hugest wrecks I've seen all race. I believe the last lap was the white flag. NJD could have his win, but the penalties will come into play here. NJD, he goes down, he hits a bump, he goes down, Armada takes the win. Luke takes second, Gator third. NJD 4th, unofficially Papa 5th, Turkey 6th, and Sector 7th. Sorry for the late white flag warning right there. I'll try to remember to put a white flag warning in the race, uh, in the video, in the post-video uh, editing. But wow, one of the most craziest last laps I have seen. I think we got to watch that whole last lap again. That was one of the craziest last laps I have ever seen, honestly. That was crazy. Anyways... I'll see, I'll see if it uh, does not skip me all the way back. I'll try to go to the beginning of the lap. Oh, it did. So I'll fast forward a little bit. And while I'm fast forwarding, I just want to talk about that. So the finishing order, the overall finishing order, you saw Armada. He made that late race pass for NJD. He did not have that win. And then right there, NJD hit the bump right there. And the finish line is actually at the beginning of the landing of this jump. So right there is the finish line. So that was basically a last turn pass for the lead from Armada. Crazy turn of events. He was in last, I believe, at one point. It looked like he was completely out, but he stayed in it, and at the end, he finally got his opportunity to take the win at Rellingtown. He really wanted the win. The regular season race, he came so close, finishing second. But you know what? He came, at, he came here. He raged a lot. <laughs> he raged a lot during the race, but he never quit. He stayed in there, raced it clean, didn't pick up any penalties, Raced it clean and uh, was able to take the win at the end. So solid run from Armada. It was kind of crazy his comeback. Uh, uh, third was uh, so first was Armada. Second was Luke. Luke was able to come back and beat NJD barely, even without the penalties. Luke had beaten NJD. So Luke and Armada's pass on NJD were legit. The NJD's penalty, to be honest, NJD's penalty did not affect him. So don't even consider that because it doesn't really matter. It didn't affect NJD at all. Um, the only penalty that affects anybody is Gators. But anyways, NJD took a solid podium in third. NJD battled hard all race. Similar story to Armada way in the back. NJD looked like he was going to have a comeback kid win. 
but Armada just gained way too much, and then NJD went down on the final turn. That really sucks for NJD, one of the craziest finishes ever. I believe here we're coming into the uh, final lap, not the final lap right here, but we're coming, yeah, this, no, this, I believe uh, next lap will be the final lap. But yeah, we're going to watch the final two laps, we'll watch it from uh, Armada's view. But you see, going into these final two laps, Armada is not even in podium position, he's still battling with Turkey with two to go, he's still battling with Turkey. And then Luke, who ends up getting second, he's in fifth right now. And then Turkey, who ends up getting sixth, he's in fourth right now. Gator, who ends up getting, uh, no, no, sorry, Turkey got fifth. Uh, Gator, who ends up getting 6th, is in 2nd right now. NJD, who ends up getting 3rd, he is in 1st right now. Now there's the battle sparking between Gator and NJD right there. Gator goes down right there. That was a huge move from NJD. Could have locked him in the win if he had not gone down in that final jump. But that allowed Aimbot to gain a lot. Uh, or Armada to gain a lot. And Armada knows he needs to go for it. I'm going to go to Luke's view because there's uh, two passes here to watch. But anyways... Armada knows he needs to go now. Gator, Gator with one of the craziest crashes I've ever seen on that back section. I mean, he's coming, he's coming. He, he can get the championship still. I believe he has it right now. And then Boosh. It's all over right there. That's that moment of realization. Luke takes the inside rut. He locks the inside down so Gator can't take it. He locks it down again. That's it. That's where Gator realizes it's, it's it. I can't get it now. I, I've lost it. Uh, if Gator would not have hit, if, if Gator would not have had that last lap wreck in the roller section, he would have he would have got a solid fourth place finish. He would have gained uh, some points on Slunch and Turkey. He would have had a shot at it. Would he have gotten the championship? Don't think so. But he he would have had a shot at it. Going back to this again, going into the final lap, the one two finishers are in third and fourth. That's crazy. That is freaking crazy. I mean, this has got to be, again, another Rellingtown race, being one of the most exciting races I've ever seen. This wasn't the crossover fest that the first race was, but this was the crazy action that the first race was, and this did have one of the most craziest championship battles I've ever seen. <coughs> and one of the most closest race battles I've ever seen. And then right here, NJD throws a little bit of a whippage over that jump. Well, that's kind of what he did, but you know what I mean. But anyways, NJD... <laughs> You know, he's got it. He he just gets a little squirrely on that jump, hits a bump, and that's it. Armada sees it. He goes hard, and he solidly takes it. Luke avoids him last second. He takes it. Gator ends up taking third, but the penalties brought him down. And then NJD, uh, he was actually the third-place finisher. And because of Gator's penalties, he also finished behind Papa and Turkey, barely. But anyways, Papa and Turkey would be your fourth and fifth place finishers. Um, and then uh, set there right behind, not too far behind set there. Not too shabby would be your seventh place finisher. Uh, Gator would be sixth. Anyways, congratulations to Armada on your champ on your Rellingtown win. Long time in the making, about time you got it. Uh, um, how much time do I have left? I gotta hurry up. Oh, jeez. Uh, Gator made a good run for the championship. You know, crazy end of that race. It looked like you might have had it. You know, you're in that podium position. And then, you know, the whole race just completely changed. That last lap. Every, like, the top... Now that I think about it, the top six positions all changed that last lap. The only position that did not change was last. That has got to be one of the most craziest last laps in Halo Racing ever. You cannot deny that. Um, NJD got third. Good job. Got his podium. First start. Not bad. Uh, Luke got second. Got a podium all four races in the championship series. Solid championship series for for him. Turkey, solid fifth place finish. Not the best championship series, but he did good. Papa got fourth. Papa is your pin, your Pro Invitational National Champion. So congratulations to him. Good job, uh, Papa. And Setter ended up coming in last, which sucks. But that was a very good run for Setter. i got to give him some credit. That was definitely his best run all season. But congratulations, Papa, on the Pro Invitational National Championship. Congratulations to Turkey on the regular season championship. Congratulations to Rockstar Energy Racing for having the overall team championship throughout the whole HRLSX. So that would go to Luke, Papa, Setter, and Turkey. Um, good job to Armada on your win. Good job to Gator on your win in the pin. 
Um, and good job to Luke and Papa for their win in the Pro Invitational, their wins in the Pro Invitational National Series too. You might see some, you might see those races coming up or a recap of those races coming up at some point. But anyways, the film's about to go. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you thought about that Rolling Town race. Was the ending of it more exciting than the last Rolling Town race? I think the last Rolling Town race overall was better, but I think this race had the better ending, the better last couple laps in my opinion. Like the last, the last eight laps of this race, you had no idea what was going to go down. That's what I loved about this race. Thanks, uh, thank you, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for sticking with me throughout the whole of 2013. I reached my upload goal this year. I uploaded at least every month this year. Heck yeah, first year I've ever done that on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time.